Something going on with Paul George and the Clippers. I, I don't know what's wrong with this dude. So, he don't want to do nothing. He went on his podcast. He talked about what he wants from a team. And I'm I'm a bit confused. I'm, I'm, a, bit, I'm a bit confused. He doesn't want to do the dirty work anymore. He feels like he feels like when they traded for Harden and they got rid of Covington and they got rid of Batum, two guys that do, did all the glue work, that now the responsibilities lied – with Ka- with um Kawhi and himself, my thing is that you're getting paid all that money, <laughs> dude, and you're supposed to be a two way player. What do you expect? That you're you're supposed to do that stuff. Now I understand. Yeah, you you have your role players that are there to do certain things, right? That like rebounding, blocking shots, right. etc. But as a two way player, well, you're supposed Alleged, to be a two way yeah. player. And supposed as a guy that's play. supposed to be great on offense, that that's what you're supposed to do. And for you to just go out there and say, oh, this is what I want from when, when I go to a team, I'm, I, I'm just not feeling it. And when you look at the Clippers situation and and you watch the games and you see how Paul George has steadily declined over the years, like he doesn't have the same burst. He doesn't have the same ability to get yeah. by people. Yeah. It was definitely apparent this year. And he's going to want a lot of money. He's going to want a four-year deal. I expect he wants a five-year deal for the Clippers. He's going to demand a lot of money. You're gonna, he's going to demand over 40 M's. I, if I'm the Clippers, I'm not re-signing him. Like, I'm sorry. I'm doing maybe a sign-in trade. I'm not re-signing Paul George. Because why would I want to pay him $40 million when he's a no-show in the playoffs half the time? It's a no-brainer. I, for me personally, I would just start over. This is a perfect time to start. Cut over. your losses. Cut your losses. And they're in a bad. They're in a very tough spot because they're going to that new stadium. Well, you you just re-signed Tyrell Lue, which is good, but you have Kawhi. Yeah. How how are you gonna do that? They're in a tough spot right now. They're 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 in the worst possible situation you could be in, where you're teetering on being good or teetering on rebuilding and right yeah. now they're in a tough spot it's, it's the same they're, they're pretty much it reminds me of the bulls and how they they try to convince themselves that they could compete when they're really not good enough to compete and right and with the with the with the clippers they they see the lakers they see all these other teams the warriors and everything like that and how they're constantly trying to compete with them compete for viewership and they they need to cut their losses. They need they they shouldn't resign Paul George. That's just too much money. What where where are you? Where are um, you with this situation? To get on a public platform like your podcast and air out those type of grievances, I wouldn't want to sign him back either. Because at this point, what do you want to do, Paul? You just want to just what do you, like? What do you want to do at this point? You don't want to do dirty work. You don't want to be the guy f- for real. Like, what do you want to do at this point? So I'm, I'm not. I'm like, man, I'm not trying to deal with this, especially for a guy that is a a known playoff dropper. So I'm like, man, nah. I'm, 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 I'm cut, like I said, I'm cutting my losses too. If I'm the Clippers, I know it's going, it's going to hurt the viewership or whatever. But like. This dude right here, I try to get something for him. I, like you said, sign and trade or something, but, but nah. Remember what he said last year. Remember it was about him and Kawhi being the number one or something like that. He And I I forgot exactly what he said. What he said he was going to be on his bully. Remember, well, number one, he said, I'm, I'm going to be on my bully ball. Yeah. But then he said something about being the number one option and how uh-huh. he feels comfortable being the number two. I'm just like, yo, oh, man, like, dude, because I, um, I remember I remember he said something about being uncomfortable with the role on the team and him and Kawhi. I wouldn't necessarily say butting heads, but just the chemistry wasn't there. And once he could finally feel like everything isn't on his shoulders. I think that's what he's sort of trying to say, hmm. that he, he felt more comfortable in his role. And uh, just hearing that, just that certain mentality, 
there's a reason why he 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 um, comes up short in the playoffs. Yeah. He just has he just doesn't have that certain edge that you would want from a player. And that's no disrespect to Paul George. He's an amazing talent, but we have to be real with you and your career in Indiana and OKC and then with the Clippers. You just you fall in short every time. And part of that may be your mentality. You're just not that killer yeah. that we thought you were. I mean, you were top ten player. I mean, shoot, he be advertising it like he's one of them. And Ball then, game. Yeah, and then and then all oh yeah, <laughs> Jeff T. Yeah. Jeff T CJ he talked about CJ Miles Miles and he yeah, he brought him a video and said, <laughs> Ball game and you know, it was him breaking a shot. <laughs> so Yeah, man. It's just it's just a bad look. The Clippers should cut their losses, but I don't I don't think they will. I think they're just, they're so desperate for attention to try to get people in the seats that I think they're gonna offer him the money. Just let me be me.